And good afternoon YouTube. Got a big project today making a set of lift blocks for a customer. I think he's got blocks now plus some some wedges and he wants to replace those with a single piece block or what we call the tapered block. So I started out earlier today with a big block of aluminum from the metal yard and we cut it at the angle he wants. This one's going to be at between 10 and 10 and a half degree and the actual blocks are 8 inches tall, 6 inch long and 2 and a half wide. So what I do is I saw that angle which gives me two equal pieces. I'll get that out of the way. And then what I do here is I've got them in my uh, milling machine that's about as big a piece of metal as we can work with. My vise is maxed out. It's clear out to the edge. And what I want to do is run the uh, fly cutter over the top just to even these two top surfaces out. I've already squared off the bottom surfaces. And then the last step is we need to... Um, drill and tap a hole in the bottom side to put this pin so the pin will be set down into the bottom of the block and that goes into the locating hole in the axle and then we put a an open hole on the top that accepts the pin from the leaf springs that's the first thing we need to do I'll show you what this looks like here let me just check the angle again I'm also adjusting the angle here. I've, when the block's cut I came out about 10.6 degrees so I've got the blocks tipped back just a little bit and I've got them clamped together. We'll get them both faced off so let's see what that looks like here. Okay there we go. We've got the blocks faced off so they're flush across the top, they're flush at the bottom and pretty much square on the sides so they should be equal. Now it's just time to mark them and drill them, clean them up a little bit and they're ready to ship. So yeah this is the biggest set of uh, blocks we've made. In fact I think that's the biggest set I can make. The uh, vise is maxed out. I'm at the far edge of that and I've got the machine, milling machine, as low as I can get it on the table. I have to actually cheat a little bit, move the uh, blocks out of my vise to get it to fit. So eight inches tall and two and a half wide is kind of our maximum. <laughs> so yeah, that's a, that's a pretty big set of blocks there. Pretty heavy, a lot of aluminum in there. So we use uh, basically recycled aluminum. We get it from the metal yard, pick up cut off scraps from various manufacturers. So this is a recycled product. So I guess this is what you would call post-industrial material. So it's material that was purchased by a manufacturer. They used what they needed and then took what was left to the recycling yard and then we bought it and cut it up into smaller pieces. It looks like we hit the angle. I've got about between four and five tenths of a degree tilt on my table. And then if we go up here on top, we've got about 10.8. So if you take the uh, 4 tenths, that gets me down to about, uh, I guess, between 10 and 10 and a half degrees. Okay, there we go, YouTube. Got the blocks ready. Two and a half wide, six inches long, eight inches tall. They've got the center pins in the bottom and then a hole in the top. And yeah, these are for a fellow, he's got a a GMC pickup he installed a front lift the current lift kit he has has five and a half inch tall blocks but the rear end is about two and a half inches too low or lower than the front so he wants to raise the rear by that two and a half inches so he needs eight inch tall blocks and then needs to change the pinion angle on the axle so these blocks will do both things for him. It gives him another two and a half inches of lift so his truck is level and then the uh, angle here will correct his pinion angle and he's been to a number of shops and they say that's impossible you can't do that 
Well, there you go. We built them a set of blocks all in one piece. And these are all billet aluminum T6061. So they're a solid chunk of aluminum cut out of one piece of metal. Just got to get them packed up and in the mail today. So this is what we call our tapered blocks. We also do just pinion shims. Yeah, so one, one product we do are our pinion shims, which are just a wedge, basically, to go between your axle and your rear springs on a leaf-sprung truck. And what that does is it tips your pinion up or down, depending on which way you install the shim and we can do these from one degree up to I think 15 15 or 18 degrees is the biggest we've done 12 is kind of our normal range but we can do shims pretty much any angle you want and then one other thing we do this is what we call a relocation block and what it does is here's your center pin and that goes into your axle and then this relocation block lets you either move your axle back or forward and we give you three three quarter inch forward one inch back and then if you turn it around you have one inch forward and three quarter back so what this is good for is sometimes when you put different springs you go to an aftermarket spring on a truck the center pin location might not exactly match the factory springs and what that does is it causes your tires to be out of center of the wheel well and then what will happen is the tires might rub on the front or the back of the wheel well so what this relocation plate allows you to do is move your axle forward or backwards either three quarters of an inch or one inch in our standard ones. We can also custom make these if you need an inch and a half or whatever. But, and these are, these are pretty popular. We, we tend to make a lot of parts to fix problems caused by aftermarket parts install so for instance uh, this guy installed an aftermarket lift kit but rear end of the truck ended up about two and a half inches too low and then it also threw off his pinion angle so we can make a set of blocks to correct the ride height and the pinion angle all at once and then this is for a Another customer who installed springs and found out his rear tires are either too far forward or too far back in the wheel well and rub. Yeah, if you're looking for anything like that, we do uh, custom shims. We cut these to order, so if you need a really specific size, length, width, we can do any, any width, any length. We can go up to 6 inches. We've even done 8 inches long on the shims and as short as like three and a half or four inches we've gone uh, inch and three quarters up to three inches wide and then angles from one I think up to 18 has been the highest angle we've done and we can do a pair of shims we can do a single shim and we can even do shims with relocation plates so, you know we build everything from scratch so if you need something and you can't find it any place else, we can probably build it. I mean, we built these, we built these, built that one a long time ago. That's just an extra we had sitting around. So, yeah, I'll put a link to our shim and tapered block webpage in the video description. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to drop those in the uh, comment section below the video. And uh, you can check out our webpage there. And... Uh, as always, thanks for watching.